We've been there for each other through some of the hardest times in our lives, through car accidents and breakups, emotional and mental breakdowns, and a whole lot of hangovers. Growing up isn't easy, but we did it together, and it has been such a pleasure watching Sammy turn into the beautiful, smart, and capable woman she is today. <laughs> I always knew it would take someone truly special to deserve my best friend's love, and I'm so happy that she's found that with James. From the moment I met James, I could tell he was someone I could trust to protect and support Sammy. I sensed how much he cared for her, and I could see how patient and understanding he was towards her with every interaction. It usually takes a lot for my friend's significant others to impress me, but James managed to do it easily. I was with Sammy and James the day they started dating, and today I was lucky enough to stand beside them as they embark on an exciting new journey together as husband and wife. I know they have a very happy future ahead of them, and I truly couldn't imagine a better person for Sammy to spend her life with. Family and friends were gathered here today to join you, James, and you, Samantha, in marriage, to witness and support your commitment as you pledge your love to one another. And when this promise is seriously made and continuously fulfilled, it leads to the richest and most rewarding human relationship, and that is why we celebrate you. Now all of us have loved in our lifetimes, and today is a very special and joyful reminder that the ability to love is the very best part of all of us. But your relationship will take more than love. It will take trust to know in your hearts that you want only the best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to each other, to learn and grow even when times are difficult and faith to go forward together, not knowing what the future holds. And while love is our natural state of being, these qualities are not easy to come by. Marriage is a give and take between two people, a mingling of two endowments which diminishes neither, but enhances both of you. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Lord, we thank you for gathering everyone here today. We ask that you help Samantha and James to remember the strong love that both of them share and to work that love into practical things so nothing can divide them. Bless their marriage with peace, happiness, and make their love fruitful for your glory and their joy, both here and in eternity. Amen. James is the closest thing I have ever had in my life to a big brother. I came to WVU as a stupid 18 year old and he almost immediately took me under his wing. I say almost because there's a little quick story with that. Um, so how James and I met, I was at a party with John Connell back there like first like fir first couple days I was at West Virginia and we were running out of beer, like big problem. So I asked John if he knew anybody that was around that had liquor. And he said, James had this really good tequila from Mexico. So I was like, cool, like, please take me over there. So I, I met James. We didn't really like shake hands or say our names to each other, but I was like, hey man, can I have some? And he essentially said, F you, no, and laughed in my face and walked away. But <laughs> look at us now, buddy, how far we have come. So um, more, more seriously though, James was really always there for me as a, as a shoulder to lean on, whether that was to tell me where my class was or where the library was or where I could find the closest beer. He, he seriously was always there for me. Um, I have a million more stories I could tell tonight about James and my adventures, but I don't think Sammy wants to come up here and tackle the microphone out of my hand, so I will refrain. Um, so once James and Sammy got together, we all, of course, became friends very quickly. Um, now it's, it's tough living 2,500 miles away from each other and all that, but 
They were out on the East Coast recently, and we were all out to, out to dinner together. And honestly, like, not to say the most cliche thing ever, but watching the way that they laugh together, watching the way that they look at each other, I knew that this day was not going to be too far away. Now, since we're in the wine country, it seems appropriate that a wine ceremony be celebrating these two lives now combined into one. Wine goes through many steps during its life, just as both of you have. And just as we depend on our experiences to become who we are, the winemaker depends on the richness of the soil, the rain, and the warmth of the sun, and then a loving touch while his wines are in the barrel to bring life to that creation. The drinking of the combined wine represents the commitment you both make today to live your lives as one. So now I invite the bride and groom's mothers, Edie and Anne, to come up and pour the wines from the bottles into the carafes as their families have paved the foundation for this commitment. Samantha and both of you have watched your parents honor the pact of marriage. You've seen them laugh together, cry together, and come out each struggle in a stronger team. They have set the standard for both of you. And as you combine these wines today, enter your new life as a married couple. You drink first. Whatever you don't drink, he has to. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be the shelter for the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be the warmth to one another. Now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be a companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all the years. May happiness be your companion and your days together be good and long upon this earth. So Samantha and James, by the love that brought you here today, by the vows that both of you have exchanged in the presence of God and the integrity in that commitment, it's my pleasure and certainly my honor to pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride.
So Samantha went to WVU, not because it's the number one party school, that wasn't why, <laughs> wasn't it? And she did all right. Straight A's, freshman year, amazing. We kind of thought she'd be back sophomore year, but okay. Um, but one day, my wife was sitting on the couch, looking at her phone, and she said, uh-oh. I was like, oh? She said, yeah. She showed me a picture. Now, if you guys haven't seen this picture, there's two kids sitting in the grass, shit-eating grins on their faces, <laughs> denying their puppy love <laughs> with the extension of a middle finger. So Edie showed me the photo, and I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> sure enough, so here they are today. I'm not surprised, that photo kind of said it all. Welcome to the family. I love you both. Happy life, happy marriage. Let's toast the, the couple.